Yeah. Let's get straight into it, bro. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about these. It's been a lot of y'all telling me, Juan, don't watch this video, bro. It's been a lot of y'all telling me, Juan, you going to get heated. You going to stop the video. Mid video, bro. Is it that bad? Is it really that bad? I know fight be tweaking sometimes. I know fight not all the way there when it comes to his IQ. But is it that bad? Now, this is my problem right here. Before we start the video, this is my issue. This is Flight Reacts. My top 100 ranked NBA players list of all time. The video nothing but 11 minutes long. I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay? So that's one. Another thing is, my boy Meech texted me, and he said, bro, don't watch the video. You're going to lose your IQ. You're going to lose some brain cells. <laughs> Yo, I got to watch the video now, bro. <laughs> Y'all gassing up, but in the wrong way. But I got to, it's still hype. Hype is hype still. You feel me? Hey, bro, let's see what this video says. We got five reacts, his top 100 ranked NBA players list of all time. Okay. I just get into it, man. I'm, I'm excited to see, to see what, what the hell going on here. <laughs> what it do, flight crew? FTC. I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it, bro. I gotta respect it. Because FTC is legendary. We got the official top 100 NBA players of all time flight reacts edition list. Starting out at 100. Pistol Pete. Okay, okay. Let's go over here. 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 All right. Bro, if you're a point guard, bro, or you just like have any type of passion for like the guard game, bro, you have to put Pistol Pete up on this list. Amari Stoudemire at number 99. I feel like Amari Stoudemire is a very underappreciated player. Tim Hardaway Sr. This dude was like the very few point guards to really make the crossover for what it is today. You have Rip Hamilton. Next up, Latrell Spree. Okay. Hey, hey, Flight going quick with these, though. He going quick. I like this. He going quick, he going quick, he going quick. I can't wait till he get to his top 50, top 40. Because honestly, I don't really care about the 100 and all that. I really care about the 30s, 20s, and especially top 10. We got to see fight top 10. I know who his number one is. We all do, bro. So inspirational, man. We know we, we know this. But if fight being realistic, I want to see number two, three, four, or five, honestly. Bro, Latrell Spear, bro, look up his damn stats, bro. This man was a dog back in the day. Next up, you have Mitch Richmond. Johnny 561 Barnes. Bill Watson. You have <laughs> No! Okay, flight tweaking already. <laughs> flight tweaking. What are you saying? Alright. Alright, I don't want to keep on pausing it. But bro, what, 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 did he just say Scotty Barnes the top 100 player all time? This is all the time. He said Scotty Barnes is the top 100 player of all time. Okay. It's still early. It's still early. 5 6 one Barnes. Bill Watson. You have Chris Bosh. You have Josh Smith, a.k.a. Jay Smooth. Ben Wallace. Next up, you have John Wall. You have Jason Tatum. Uh. All right, this is all, this is all I'm going to say, man. This is all I'm going to say. Um, I, okay, this is an all-time list. Um, this is flight all-time list. We got to put that into perspective. This is flight reaction we're talking about here, okay? Now, I'm going to stop the video right now and say, what the free flight? This dude right here is a top 50 player. Bare minimum. Now, I'm not trying to be a glazer. I'm not, I'm not just trying to cop please for my boy JT because I'm a Celtic fan, all right? But... Let's be honest. Let's be realistic, bro. He's top 50 minimum. Anywhere outside top 50, you're smoking crack. It's just that simple, bro. And you have to be smoking some type of substance that that, that, that doesn't belong in your body, bro. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. How's JT number 88? Top 50 minimum. They compare him to KD, and guess what? They say he better than KD. I know he ain't got the chips, but let's be honest. We see what KD is doing without Steph. Without Steph, KD would have zero donut rings. It's just that simple. 
Can we keep it? Can we keep it a bean with? with, with can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can, we, can, can I say the truth? Can I say the goddamn truth? Okay. This is this is flight we talking about. All right. I'm I'm done pausing. We're not even a minute into this goddamn video, and I, I'm I'm done pausing. You got Robert Parrish, James Worthy coming in next on this list. You have Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight reel. Yeah, George Iceman. Gervin. You got Chase and Kid. You got Bob Cousy. Next up, you got Clyde the Glide Drexler. Next up, you have Dr. J. Next up, you got Moses Malone. You have Patrick Chewing. Pearl Malone. Next up, you have David Robinson. You have Jermaine O'Neal. <laughs> Next up, you have Starberry, aka Steph Marbury. You have Jerry West. You have Penny Hardaway. You have Yao Ming. Elvin Hay, Bernard King. Next up, you have Draymond Green, Green, Green. You have Pal Gasol. Yo, what, what is this list based off of? I respect Draymond Green. He, like, what, what are we talking about? I respect Draymond Green. I respect him. Without Draymond Green, we don't know if the Warriors continue to win like they did. I think they do, but Draymond Green, he's a factor. He'll kick some mind nuts for Steph Curry. It's been proven. He'll he down to do whatever it takes to protect and, and, and to, to allow Steph Curry to continue to prosper. We get it. We understand it, bro. He's the ultimate bodyguard. He's the NBA menace. But, bro, what, 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 what are we doing here, bro? What, what is this list based off of? Is this list based off of rings? It can't be because you're all bees here. Is this list based off of MVPs? Is this list based? What is this list based off of? I don't understand the list already. Flight just got high one day and start writing names down, bro. I guarantee you, bro. Because I'm not understanding what the hell is going on. Hi, J. My Green. Better than Tatum and all. What? Like, what? Okay. Okay. What? What are we doing here, bro? Is it. What? Beat of Joel, Fox of De'Aaron, Gilbert Arenas, man. You have Scottie Pippen. You have Reggie Miller. You have Chauncey, Mr. Big Shot Phillips. You have Ray Allen. You have Gary Payton. You have Paul the Truth Pierce. And next Pierce. up, who is also part of Big Three, Kevin Garnett. We have Isaiah Thomas Sr., Butler of Jimmy. Dirk. Lewinsky. You have Charles Barkley. You have Fear the Beer, James Harden. You have CP3. Dog, you have to put Carl Anthony Towns, bro. Why the Claw Leonard? Super sorry. You Come on, Flight. Come on, bro. Like. Like, Flight, take that goddamn headband off, bro. You don't know shit about basketball. I got to keep it a bean with you. You don't know shit about basketball, bro. Take that goddamn headband off. Crafty Towns, bro. You dead, you, you're you not serious, bro. You can't be. You trolling me, bro. You trolling me, bro. You trolling me, bro. Why are you doing that? What's the reason for that, bro? How much he pay you, bro? Like, what's going on here? You put Carney Towns over Paul Pierce, over Tatum, over Embiid. Where's Car Where's Carney Towns not even the best player on this goddamn team, bro? What are you talking? About? What's he talking about? Like it's not even funny no more, man. I'm talking. I'm y'all not lying, bro. Y'all not lying, bro. I'm gonna cut the video off right now. It's no point in me watching this bull. I'm sorry, man. You got just a slight technical difficulty on my camera and then the only part of course it had to be on one of my favorite players of all time tracy mcgrady is up next on the rankings you have sean Kemp. you have steve next up a lot of people are gonna be scratching oh. their head at this one but if you have some real nba knowledge you don't have yeah. to put him in this list because i really feel like this player would have seriously dominated on the next level but how is he a top how I, how, how is he a top 100 NBA? How is he a top ranked NBA player if he never like actually got drafted in the NBA? You know what I mean? He passed away before he got drafted, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. This dude is probably better than Michael freaking Jordan. Yes. 
If you don't know, look it up. From Merlin also. Well, not from Merlin. I don't know, I don't know where he's from, but he played for the University of Merlin, bro. Gotta respect it. But how is he on the list if he didn't... Okay. Unfortunately, if he did not pass away, you know what I'm saying, before he even got to step on the NBA court, and you have to put Len Bias. Next up, you have Manu Bo. Next up, you have Spud Webb. The shortest NBA player to win a dunk contest, I think if it's not him or Nate Robinson, but he was the first to win that was the shortest at his time period, bro. And also, speaking of the short NBA player list and everything like that, Monty Bowes, come on, man, the shortest NBA player to ever step foot. Oh, my girl called me, man. Hold up, bro. Hello? What? Yes. I'm watching the video right now. I'm getting kind of mad, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm just, I'm just mad in general, bro. Like, my brain cells right now. But I, I, I'll call you back. I had, some, I had to let my girl know, bro. Like, don't call me, bro. I'm not in the best of moods, man. Like, this, this video got me pissed. 42, Muzzy Bones. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog. That's absolutely incredible, bro. Jerry! Dame Dollar. You have Big Sanity. Next up, you have Russell Westbrook. You have Devin Booker. Dion Williamson. Monte, aka Mississippi Bullet. Monte Ellis, man. Next up, you have Anthony Davis. SGA. You got Jaja. Moran. You gotta put Elton Brand, bro. Next up, you have Dwayne Wade. Got Clay Thompson, Jared Williams, Tim Duncan. My bad, guys. Same glitchy thing happened with camera, but coming in next, Oscar Robertson, Mr. Triple Double Season. Next up, Derrick Rose is an absolute legend. Next up, you have Magic Johnson. Stuck camera glitch again, but you got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Next up, you got Bill. So all the goats of the NBA, all the dudes who who transcended the game at their time: Bill Russell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, all the guys who. Who, who, who put the game to the next level is number 22, 23, and 20. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Russell, you gotta put John Havlicek in there. Bob Petit, you got Nate Tiny Archibald. Gotta put John Stockton in there. You got Hakeem Olajuwon. Larry Bird, Walt Frazier up in this thing, man. Next up, Carmelo Anthony. Got Paul George. Got Gates. Next up, you got Kevin Durant. Good. Donna Kick. You have a dunk book. You gotta put Shaq up in here. To be honest, I would literally put Shaq into the top three NBA players of history if he was able to shoot. Next up, Allen Iverson. My favorite motherfucking NBA player of all time. The reason why I picked up the basketball. It's bigger than basketball at this point, especially when it comes to Iverson. Next to the point of what I was talking to you guys earlier on in the video, that what these lists are gonna come down to, bro, the influence, bro. Iverson is the reason why today your favorite NBA players are, are able to walk around the NBA having tattoos, having braids, having locks, having all time. Like, Iverson brought the entire culture into the NBA. What? So, all right. <laughs> Alright, bro. It's, yeah, he's trolling. It's no need to get mad no more because we know it's a troll. Duh. Well, well, uh, it's a troll, bro. Like, why though, flight? Why? Why did you take your time out to goddamn day to troll us, though, bro? Matter of fact, why are we even taking flight serious when it pertains to the NBA? Like, I, I gotta start doing that, bro. I gotta start doing that, bro. I be taking this very, 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 very seriously, and I gotta just turn off the switch. I gotta shut my IQ down, bro. When you got an IQ like mine, Professor Wall in the building. Let me shut my IQ with y'all boys. Well, my IQ is 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 hovering at a level that not a lot of people can understand and reach. You gotta turn your, your IQ down, but I hate turning my IQ down to talk to a mere person with no IQ about the game of basketball, bro. It's hard for me to do that. But I gotta do it when it pertains to Fly Reacts, bro. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be angry. And that's not the way I need to watch this video, bro. I gotta turn my IQ all the way down to the to the surface, okay? My IQ is hovering at, at 9,000. 
I gotta, I gotta turn the, I gotta turn the knob down all the way to to five to watch this video and just not be mad. Real talk. Wet bananas. <laughs> Victor Wimbayama, number eight. Okay. Okay, we got we got we got like six more minutes of this video, bro. I'm done pausing it. I'm done pausing it. Right now, my IQ is I turn it down. Is that number is that a five now? Is that a five? Bananas! You got to put Wimby into this top list. When it's all said and done, I'm putting the bet, I'm putting everything on the money line on the parlay. When it's all said and done, Wimby will legitimately be a top three NBA player. He would even be five times better than what he is now if it wasn't for his hating ass teammates. Everybody on that Sperms team, you got to go. You guys clearly hate on him. Um, even Popovich, you know what I'm saying? Popovich, you're getting discredited as a coach as well from the way you're limiting his minutes and you're not calling out the players passing him the ball the way they should be and stuff like that. Wimby is a legitimately top seven NBA player, even this early on in his career. I don't want to hear it. This dude is a seven foot ten and a half monster. He isn't even literally like nowhere near his body build prime. And what I mean by that, I've always spoke and preached about give Wimby about two or three more years to get that a comfo like build. Look at how comfo when he first came into the NBA. You know he was very skinny. He was a little bit frail and stuff like that. It takes like time. You gotta you know. Mega Poppin Gang. Mega Pluto. Yo, what's good, gangy? Appreciate the four months. Use the real one. Appreciate that sub, my boy. Have proper eats and stuff like that, plans, and um, you got to work out and stuff like that and get the muscle. Just eat more, bro. Bro, Wimby is the real deal. You have to put Wimby in the top list. It's about... I do agree that Wimby Yama is a real deal. See, sometimes flight can get me when it comes to, like, talking about players. I think Wimby Yama is a real deal, but if he gains muscle like Giannis... I'm afraid that he's not going to be able to shoot the ball as much. Yeah, he's going to be able to attack the paint like Giannis do, but Wimbayama has a deeper bag than Giannis Adekupo. Giannis Adekupo, he's just strong as hell, and he can get to the basket at will. Wimbayama, he got a bag. He can dig in his bag, do a little between-the-legs step back. He's a three in your lip, bro, every single time. He can dribble, 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 tween, tween, gear step, get to the rack, lay it with the left hand, bro. This dude got a bigger bag than Giannis Adekupo, but... His body is like Giannis when he first got to lead. I'm afraid if he bulks up a little bit, he's not gonna be able to shoot the pill like he like he needs to. You know what I mean? Maybe he's maybe he maybe he can, but I don't know. Sometimes when you get muscle, um, it, it, it messes up your shot, bro. When Giannis first came to lead, y'all all seen the highlights. He had a knocker on him, coach. He was lighting that thing up. Like pure. Look like Kevin Durant. Bro, Wemby is the real. Deal. You have to put Wimby in the top list. It's about to get spicy. Top five. Coming in at the number five LeBron. rank for the NBA players of all time. LeBron! I figured. I figured. I'm not surprised. Yeah, LeBron going Curry number into one. the top right, five. Curry number one, bro, obviously. I mean, do I need to explain anything more? LeBron's longevity needs to be studied. He's still playing right now as we speak. And to be honest with you, he even has a lot more room when it's all said and done whenever he decides to retire um, to even get up further on this list. But I feel like it's fair from the other players I'm about to mention after him and why he... Wait, wait what did he say? He said, he said LeBron can... He said after LeBron retires, he can get further up on the list? How? When he retired? Like, you get points for not playing the NBA? I thought... I thought Okay, I don't know what measuring stick Flight is using, but it's, 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 none of us know about it. None of us understand it, okay? This is Flight Reacts we're talking about here, bro. Five IQ. Five! He said after LeBron retires, he can jump up the list. How? But I feel like it's fair from the other players I'm about to retire. And to be honest with you, he even has a lot more room when it's all said and done whenever he decides to retire. Um, to even get up further on this list, but I feel like it's fair from the other players I'm about to mention after him and why he's a fifth player of all time But he has enough room to crawl up more into the list and everything like that because coming in after LeBron Kobe Bryant's Come on, man. Kobe Bryant, man. Do I need to even explain? R.I.P. Kobe. Uh, can I guess the number three, two, and one? I know one is Steph. Who are we, who are we missing out? I know one is Steph. Who's who's his? Kevin Durant. 
Steph, Kevin Durant. Who else am I missing? Steph, Kevin Durant. He didn't name Kevin Durant yet. So it got to be Steph, Kevin Durant. Who the, who, who's the other guy? Steph, Kevin Durant. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I know we, we missing Steph. We missing KDs. KD might be number three. Steph is definitely number one. But it's somebody else that's missing that. Who the who the top five? I don't want to look at chat because I don't want you to tell me. I don't know. I don't know. His daughter and those rest of those passengers, ma'am. Kobe is probably the I'm most curious. dominant shooting guard oh. um, of all time. Um, from the post game to his three pointers to his clutch ability to his mama mentality, uh, the Kobe and Shaq era that was just absolutely amazing to witness and stuff like that. To see the controversy that he dealt with and still went in every single night in the NBA, putting up absolutely crazy numbers and stuff like that. Um, to the 81 point game that he had and everything, the second most points in NBA history. I mean, you have to put Kobe in the top five. Anybody that doesn't have Kobe in the top five NBA list, discredit the list. Just turn off the video. Don't even waste your breath. Don't waste your inner jargon. <laughs> Yo, it's funny how I fight say that. Just turn off the video. I should have turned the video off a lot sooner than 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 I'm out to right now. You feel me? I should have been turning the video off, but it's okay. <laughs> Three. Kevin Durant. Michael. Oh, Michael Jordan. Oh, how did I forget Michael Jordan, bro? What the hell? Oh, my gosh. Yo, I'm tripping. I thought he already said MJ for some reason. I thought he already said MJ, but uh, yeah, MJ, MJ. I forgot about MJ. MJ, KD, and Steph. Okay, okay. I forgot about MJ. I got that. I, I told you I'm on. I'm on a level five IQ right now, bro. You feel me? Okay, okay. So it's Steph and no, it's, it's KD and then Steph. All right. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Now people are gonna be like. You didn't put him number one. No, no, I didn't. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a top three player of all time. Where you decide to put him is up to you. Because coming in next, yeah, Wilt man. the Stilt Chamberlain. He, he named Kevin Durant. Now, does Wilt Chamberlain have the influence of Michael Jordan? Hell no. But what Wilt Chamberlain does have, we have these dweebs on here, like, going up and firing up a video talking about, <laughs> um, well, there's no way. Real Chamberlain's 100 point game was real because um, uh, they just didn't have footage. Yo, you dumbass. Do your fucking research, my nigga. Bro, there was literally audio on the radio of people live commentating the game of Will Hamm. And not the fact of that, this game was played in the 1960s, pre like segregation and all that stuff. Bro, that was a really racial time period to be playing in, dog. Like, put two and two together, bro. Do you really think they're gonna make up and push the agenda that Will Chamberlain, who is an African American, dropping a hundred points? Do you really think during that time period they're gonna push that, bro? Like, think for a second. Not even that. Okay, you want to put that all to the side, bro. White telling somebody else to think is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Go look up Will Chamberlain's stats. This nigga averaged 50 points. He averaged 50 points in an NBA season. It was the 1961-1962 season. And you dumbasses out there that keep saying that the game is fake, how about you stay in fucking school and do your math and research? There's no way somebody averages 50 points per game without scoring a high number for it to bring that average to that little median, median level, which means that he had to have some type of game where he scored 80 or 90 plus points, which indeed he scored 100 points, okay? Bro, this nigga averaged 50 points per game and 25 rebounds in a 1961-1962 season. This nigga is better than Michael Jordan. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, all right? And now, in my opinion, too, if he was playing in this time period, he would be five times even better. Will Chamberlain during this time period was going up against plumbers, school guidance counselors, school assistant principals, the motherfucking school security guards. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, chess club players. No competition, bro. You really think he's not going to drop 100 points? I'm sorry that we that we are where we, we stuck listening to this, bro. You know, like I, I tune, I, I tune it out. Did y'all tune it out? I already tuned it out. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just tuned it out. I'm waiting for him to announce Curry, because we all knew that Curry's gonna be number one. So I tuned everything out. I, what did he say? I don't know what he's saying. I, I tune it out. I'm waiting for number one, number one pick. Okay, we, I tuned it out, bro. Sorry. None of decided that 
Go look up his stats where he ran in the track and everything like that, dog. Come on, bro. You got to put Will Chamberlain in the top two. I, I will argue this to out. the I end of it, bro. It. The last official NBA <laughs> player in this ranking <laughs> to fish off at being the number one player of all time and right now. Can we get a drum roll, please? The number one NBA player of all time and right now will be... Staff chef, look at Curry, man. Come on, man. This guy is the number one shooter of all time. <laughs> His longevity also needs to be studied. He's like 35, still dropping 60 points, still outdoing uh. all your favorite NBA players. Now, also to the side effect, Curry has crazy amounts of influence, bro. And to the reason why all these NBA teams, all these new up and coming Hoopers, all these high school, all these Juco, all these college teams are averaging 30 plus threes a game now is because of Steph Chef. Look at Wardell Curry, man. Number one NBA player of right now and all time. There you have it. The official top 100 NBA player list is officially wrapped up. Hey, man, do y'all agree with my list? Um, what don't you agree on? Give me a valid argument. Just okay, I, I, I was waiting for the part where he said he's trolling, but... It's like he's never trolling. He's always serious, bro. GG's, bro. Worst list of all time. But who, who, like, did, did we, we, we guessed it, right? We knew it, right? <sighs> Let's move on.